I just watched one of the videos that I filmed today. Uh, the one in my face in it. And I look so bad that I decided I'm just gonna film the surroundings. And here are some more fake trees. And here you can see inside of one. It has brick inside. And here's some fake rocks and some more fake wood. So this whole area consists of fake rocks and fake trees for a big portion of it. I really wish my camera wasn't so bad and that it was picking up colors and more shaded areas better. Here's what a typical smaller street looks like with those trees. I'm not sure how they're called in English. Uh, but it's very nice. You have all these small shops lining the sides of it. There's many many barber shops in Changsha for some reason. And they're mostly very very fancy looking. And many of them are operated by guys that look like they belong in a K-pop band. Although I, it's not a K-pop band in this case, it's like a J-pop band? I don't know. I'm getting closer to the temple. And today I actually know where I am. Unlike yesterday when I got lost. Here's a hill. And I think that the temple is on the other side of it. I'm pretty sure. So let's just walk in that direction. There are some doves and a heart and uh, hands here. So I'm just guessing that this is some sort of a monument for peace. I'm not sure. And this looks like donations. So, are those people who donated for this to be built? I'm not actually sure, so don't take my word for it. Here on the side of this hill, once again we have some sort of waterfront area, but I'm not sure if I'll manage to get down there, maybe? Oh well, it looks like I will get down there after all, because I suppose just to regular park open for everybody uh, do I want to climb another hill I'm not sure I oh, just like um, Chinese characters in the slope of that hill can you see it maybe I'll bit get a better view of them from down there Once again, the waters are rather um, murky, so it's not the most pleasant place to hang out, if I'm honest. Maybe it looks better in summer. Okay, I think I'm gonna climb this hill and then finally try to find the temple. Shall we pick the easy way? Or the hard way? Okay, let's get over with this. how the stairs are of completely random height as in the steps it really makes climbing so pleasantly harder I thought that this building is going to be something like a small restaurant because it sometimes happens on top of hills. But it looks like it's a temple actually. And here's a elephant, I think. 
and this is I'm not sure this says mountain and this sign is like two trees and this is fire and that's all I know <laughs> sorry my Chinese is not so great can I walk in somewhere in here I think I can oh this is like a room filled with incense this is all incense as you can see the end of it is burning and it smells really nice okay so now we need to find the, the deity that this place is made for and I believe that he or she is upstairs that's actually the first time that I see a temple where you have to climb the stairs um, to get to the top of the building to see who you're praying to and there are the uh, cushions that you kneel on when you pray well, that's rare also and here is this person I don't actually have any offering for him but we could burn this I think okay here's some more incense and some more figures some of them look really really old here's some other incense and this is fake money that you burn to send it to your ancestors who died I'm gonna make a separate video about it and here's a, a box of donations. I think I have some change so I can leave something. Okay. Oh, I should have prayed first. I mean, I'm not Buddhist or anything, but... It's still nice to, you know, just sort of honor the tradition. Oops. Is this the best place to put this in? I think it's fine. That's a really nice place. I like it. I actually really, really love all the temples, even though they're very similar to each other. Because they're just always so peaceful. Also, in most of the temples I saw those things and I'm not sure what they are so I need to do some research and then make me I'll make a separate video about what I learned about temples in general Jesus Christ my nays look horrible did I just say Jesus Christ in a Buddhist temple And if you were ever wondering why the paths in Chinese parks and gardens are so complex and always very very curvy it's because they believe that when the paths are curvy the demons and the evil spirits get lost and they can't follow you so you're safe from harm there's some more water and a bridge. Should I cross it? I had to sit down on this fake concrete trunk for a minute because my shoes are way way too small. I bought them on Taobao but most Chinese shoes only go up to size 40 and I'm like a Chinese 41 I guess even though in Europe I'm like a 39. So Right now my feet are killing me. Uh, and you may ask yourself, or rather me, why I didn't wear more comfortable shoes. And that's because, uh, first of all, I'm an idiot. And secondly, I thought that I'll be going to work and not for an adventure. 
I didn't even plan to film anything and I I really thought that this video is going to be very very short but now I don't know how long it will be feel free to stop watching if it gets too boring but actually I have a feeling that it gets more and more interesting each minute because I'm finding new more interesting things we just started with a building with an orb and now we are in a temple park there are some very fancy very abandoned buildings over here I wonder what they were there are some other what is it called? Garden with water. It looks fancy as well. I wonder why it's why it's empty now. <laughs> 